This is from Brandon Butcher. And the question is, in what ways can philosophical movements such as new materialism, object-oriented ontology, and critical race theory inform not only the contemporary religious discourse on climate change, but also animate religious laity into direct action. In particular, I'm thinking about criticism against Christian concepts of stewardship by the likes of Jane Bennett and Zakia Iman Jackson and the ways in which this potentially anthropocentric rhetoric of human stewardship over the rest of created being conforms to a traditionally white patriarchal chain of being. So this question is really tying together a couple of things we've already discussed. And I, uh, I don't know if there's a lot there to think about, but would either of you have any responses to that? Well, I mean, my, my gut reaction, if we're asking, how are we going to, how are those highly theoretical things going to influence like regular regular religious communities? I mean, I would think not very directly at all. Um, I would say, I mean, the, the one piece on there that I could pick up on was the anthropocentrism piece, um, which, you know, I think this gets back into our good and bad environmentalism thing that a lot of us in religion and ecology or religion and nature have been trying to say like, oh, anthrop anthropocentrism is terrible, you know, that's not gonna get the things done, but trying to go to, you know, even in progressive Los Angeles, right? Trying to go to um, you know a parish and explain to people like, oh, you need to be biocentric or you need to be ecocentric. I think it's just not going to be very effective. Um, and then I think there's there's a lot of um, scholars and more of the scholars of color in our field that have been pointing out, you know, um, Tyson Lord Gray is the one that comes to mind off the top of my head. But anthropocent like um, being saying that anthropocentrism is bad is a way of eliminating a lot of voices of color in our field and that a lot of you know black indigenous and people of color are going to be involved in environmental issues based on concerns of their community so if we're going to silence those perspectives and call them bad bad environmentalism i think that's a really good way to continue with this kind of white emphasis within what we're, we're talking about and looking at and upholding 